What's going on guys? Welcome to another Ice Pyre video and today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be doing a full campaign and going for a One Faith as Castile, but we're going to be using some exploits to make it less challenging. Um, I know Castile is one of the stronger starts for doing a One Faith, so that or um, you know any Sunni nation like Ottomans would be also pretty good just because of the propagate of your religion in the trade company areas. But we're going to be playing Castile and you may notice that this map looks different than the starting map. I gave myself all of Gascony. Genoa and I introduced the synthetics and gave him a province in Granada. We're going to be using an exploit to kind of mess up all of our neighbors and remove their cores as well as give ourselves uh, unique ideas that we designed ourselves plus bonuses by giving ourselves the Mayan religion and having the synthetics in the game. So we're going to flip Mayan, flip back to Catholic and we're going to get bonuses to cavalry combat ability and land fire damage and a whole bunch of other good stuff. So we're going to play out this campaign. We're going to try and go for a one faith and I'll show you guys the exploits right now. All right, first step, <coughs> custom nation. Give ourselves all the provinces we want here. I think that's just about it for that. Let's remove province, let's move cores from... Uh, Morocco, make them weaker too. And we're gonna be fighting Tunis down here, so eventually... I wanna get to the Mamluks, so that's too far from the capital, that's fine. Um, let's weaken... England. Let's weaken Scotland a little bit. Let's, uh... Can't really weaken the Ottomans there. That's about enough messing up of, uh... other nations as I can really hope for. Alright, now that we're satisfied... Let's hit... Done. Go over to any... This is a practice run that we did. Any Iron Man save file. Hit cancel. Add a custom nation to an uncolonized province. Delete it. Alright, so now we're going to do the other exploits. We're going to shift and right click on any button on the interface. Twice. Let's cancel out of the first two windows. Add a custom nation. Cancel out of two more windows. Click on Castile, and then load, and the game crash. So this happens every now and then. And we'll just jump back to uh, jump back to when I reload it, and maybe we'll do this correctly. All right, cancel out of the first window. Custom nation. Cancel out of the next window. Hit Castile. Hit load. Cancel out of the last window. We didn't crash. Nice. Now I just need to not misclick this time. Load her up. We're good to go. Delete Castile. Custom Nation. Modify. Delete. Double check. We're good to go. Click Castile. Hit play. Set Iron Man. And we'll name it... We'll rename it this, this file right here. Dinosaur One Faith. We're going to be using 50% Cavalry, 50% Infantry. Um, and then we're going to take that number and then that's the same amount of artillery we're going to have in the late game. We're going to make sure that we have a you know, high concentration of cavalry and use that bonus. And that fire damage from the uh, artillery is just going to be nuts. So, unfortunately, we don't start with any ships. So we're going to start needing to build ships as soon as possible. Um, we're going to start off by giving Gascony, releasing Gascony and giving them some land here to core up. Let's release them. And let's give them some land. All right. Okay. And the rest of the land, I think, core myself. Just Genoa. Let's unstate it. And now let's core it up. Actually. We'll give one province to the clergy and then start our states at the same time. That's not a great province. Let's give them this cattle. I mean, that's usually better for manpower, but uh, that's probably better for the nobility. But they're already so influential, we don't need to give them anything. So it's demands. Admin. Do that. Vision quest. We don't really need that click. 
Um, I'd rather keep the stab cost. We don't need to start converting because we're going to be forced converting the second that we get the modifiers we want. Make sure that we're starting a, a um, spy network on synthetics and get them out of the game as fast as possible. Um, anybody who wants to ally. 11 alliances here. So we're just going to go to war with France, England, and Brittany as much as possible. England, I'm fine with them just you know, doing their own thing. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, weakened them because we're going to make them a PU subject anyways, eventually. Um, so that's a thing. Um, if they implode, that's, you know, whatever. I just don't want to have to fight them, fight with them for colonies. Slow down their colonization at the very least. Um, so let's see, in terms of allies, we don't really need too many allies right now. We're gonna get a whole bunch of PUs soon anyways, so I think let's just keep our alliances open um, and we'll start spy networking on Morocco and Tlemcen. And um, we'll start building some uh, ships as soon as we can. We don't have any sailors just yet. So move our guys down. And we'll start the game. Actually, first though, let's uh, that's sketch. Do not like that going to ninety. All right, let's get some line to the um, merchants here. I think Sevilla would be a good province. Yeah, and then we can. There we go. Perfect. All right. We're gonna get that tech real quick. Let's read that corruption a little bit more. We're one over the force limit, but that's fine. We'll get that back shortly. Playing speed four for now. Nice synthetic dawn events. Nice. For some reason, if you have the synthetics in the game, you discover some provinces that you wouldn't normally have discovered, which is interesting. They've embraced feudalism. Prepare for the worst. Bro, are you shitting me? Okay, we're gonna get rid of some nobility. Provinces right now. Oh my god, you can't get rid of any because, oh my god. Are you serious right now? Because I need to wait like how many years? 10 years or something like that? No, a whole year. Well, we'll hold off on this as long as possible. I know I shouldn't have taken that click, man. If I state this up, it'll do anything. I can't state it up while it's scoring. Okay. Speed five, maybe we can deal with this. All right, temporal rift, nice. All right, let's, now that we have that. I'm sorry, I didn't read the, uh, I didn't read the, the events. Basically what it does is it gives us um, cavalry combat ability and uh, land fire damage until the end of the game. Um, and that's just really broken free modifiers. So we're going to now Convert back to Catholicism. We're going to lose 50 prestige, but for some reason we start with a whole bunch of prestige, so it's not a big deal. And let's choose this while we can. And now we're going to start getting some sailors again, which is nice. We're making money. Yeah, did not like that. Um, if we can make it to November, we can revoke some land, so. All right, two more months. All right, Portugal, it's at war with Morocco and Synthetics. Portugal will probably take this province. Um, 
they did in my first test run. Really, guy? They have more than that? Oh my goodness. You're no, not taking the clock province. Um, that's fine. We'll just send you guys to go deal with that. Actually, you know what? Go here first. Grasslands, crossing penalty. I guess there's a river there. Alright, it's not a big deal. All right, now we can start making some boats. Um, start making light ships as much as we can. Um, Easy up our sailors. All right, uh, assign some rivals. I would assign Portugal so we can get some power projection going to war with them. I'm gonna do that. From here we can do France, and then I think England will be another good rival. See if I can't ally. Let's improve relations first with them. Yeah, they're gonna Portugal's gonna piece them out and take that province really quick, so I'm gonna at least fabricate a claim on it. Portugal's gonna take all that land, so um, I'm okay with that because I'm gonna PU them shortly. Not a big deal. Keep those going. Prove relations and ally Aragon as soon as I can. Aragon's at war with England, huh? Oh, Aragon allied uh, France, huh? Interesting. Provence. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna get you as a PU subject anyways. Might as well accept that alliance there. Okay, let's continue building our boats. Excuse me, I got like hiccup burps going on here. Excommunicated ruler. France would join, but they. I say we wait on any kind of big wars until after we get the PU. Sure, why not? Military tech. Right, we're ahead on uh, admin, so let's state this up. Man, oh man, that's obnoxious. Set the ships to Sevilla. We're gonna use these to collect trade when we can. All right, let's build two more ships, and then I think I'm gonna build some heavies and some cogs. We're making good money now.
Allied to Morocco, huh? They're not gonna join, so I'm just gonna click declare war on you. And take that province, please. No armies. It'll be a quick and easy war, I believe. Alright, that's actually pretty good that they took that land. Um, now we'll be able to feed them some more provinces eventually, once we get the union over them. ships. Oh, there's devastation here because I got pirated, but once I get this heavies finished, we're going to start protecting our... Uh, Hunting, hunting pirates, rather. Get them all the Safi. Stop, no, not that one. Other one. Okay. Build another heavy ship. Let's finish off these guys here. And this will give us another permanent modifier. This will give every nation in the game 25% tech cost reduction, which is um, good and bad thing, double-edged sword on that one. So that's gonna be an interesting uh, interesting thing to let play out. Here it is. Give another pop up. Here we go. Tech cost minus 25%. Synthetic remnants. So, there's no way France is going to not back them up. So, I just need it to be uh, 1450. And then my female ruler will likely cause Alphonse and the event to fire to give me the union. That'll be nice. And the tech cost reduction, kick in, 385, take current level tech. That heavy Karak again. I wanna build like two more heavy ships and then I'm gonna build cogs. Renaissance. Oh my goodness gracious, that's really obnoxious.
don't know why the nobility started with 80 uh, influence. That's probably because of the uh, land I gave to Gascony had something to do with increasing their influence by a bit. There it is. And we got the union now. This means we can take these clicks. Which means we can go to war with Portugal and England will not back them up. So let's clear these rebels out and then let's go to war with Portugal. up a bit here. I do have some innovativeness, huh? Five of it. Um, that's fine. I'm trying to keep that innovativeness as long as possible. I they're going to Toledo, which means I can... Man, I'm losing a lot of manpower here. Okay. Get this explorer and let's take three ships. Actually, no, these guys here can go just park for a second. Other union. And do you have any other allies? No, Telephot. Uh, not really keen on taking more land from you, so let's just do this. Perfect. Actually, no, let's split three of these away. Protect, protect trade. No, you're going to explore. Not right away. This should be a quick and easy war. Yeah, we really outnumber them now. Oh, free light ship. My exploration group. <laughs> All right, let's just play a little slower here. I have a tendency to play a little too fast for my own good. So we'll play a little slower. Our manpower just got obliterated by those rebels, but uh, we can take a few clicks and eventually get that back. Truthfully, we really just need to uh, do one more heavy ship. They occupy those provinces and be really, really upset. Oh, he is. Okay, well, we'll find out. Alright, he's stopping them. I don't... can't be... can't be canceling my ships, man. Why are they over here? I 
I don't want to really hurt their armies too much because even after I win this war, they're going to be friendly. So if I keep them out of debt, it'll be better for me. So I just don't want to fight them head on. Why do you want Asturias so bad, dude? Three heavies right there. Oh, gross. Why? What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy guy? All right, here's here's what we're gonna do. Aragon is being a complete and utter derp. I'm gonna send him a bunch of war goals. Okay. That's not what I meant when I said come over here, dude. Come on, man. Why is Aragon such an idiot? Jeez, last time this did not happen. I did this like yesterday just to see, you know, what the early game would look like, and it just, it went perfectly. <laughs> oh my god. Aragon's just landing to their death. Maybe I should be protecting them a little more. There we go. Oh, come on. I thought I had it. Go, that's finished. He transports his troops over here when there's a fight like literally on the same part of the continent as his country as his capital. Like <laughs> I don't understand, man. Lose the individual miss now, that's fine. Noble Rebels, where? Oh, and Aragon, I don't care about them. For some reason Portugal is uh, playing the smart, and my dude, they're gonna go back. Oh, that's what they were just repressing rebels over there? That's what they were doing? Are you kidding me? Okay. That's fun. Right, my ships need to be consolidated, really. I really hope they don't go and take that province now. Alright, two more of those. Bunch of cogs when I can. Send all the navies over here.
No, dude, don't cancel the heavy ship. Oh my god, I'm so mad at you. Dude, I'm so upset, dude. They're gonna really drop the ball here. They really dropped the ball. That's so unfortunate, man. Yep, that sucks. Okay, that's 50 gold down the drain. matters though they're just gonna stack wipe all of their troops I don't know what they're thinking fine Don't mess with my troops right now, dude. My ships. That's what you get for messing with my ships. Okay. Um, take the pen penalty from institution. Not like it's a big deal. I have no more troops to really fight me, so... Alright, you can rebuild your troops once uh, this war is over. I'm not going to take any money from you. Just, just going to peace you out. Almost done with our navy. Man, oh man, these sieges take so long. Alright. Finally, piece them out. Union with Portugal. Anything else we need? Get some free prestige. Alright, let's just do that. Got the Union, they're still friendly, which is interesting. Always so interesting. Hello everybody again, and thanks for watching this part one of this Castile One Faith achievement run. I'm going to be uploading this campaign periodically throughout the next coming weeks, so stay subscribed to watch more content like this, and let me know what you think about this kind of content, whether or not I need to make some improvements or change some things around, and just let me know your general comments and feedback. With that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.